Well, hello, everybody. We are in the W's. Happy, happy, happy. What is this, Monday? It's Monday, February 12th at 12, uh, 11, 18 a.m. Ooh, I'm early today. For you West Coast people, it's what, 9? 10, 11, yeah, 9, 9. So wake up. I thought I'd start today. We're in the W's going through the hymnal. Before I sing the opening song... I'd sing this one to you. It's What a Savior He Is. It's from my project coming up sometime this year. Sometimes does it seem too good to be true That God's only Son lived and died just for you Is it hard to believe His love's really there When in spite of your sin He continues to care I don't know what a sinner you are but I know what a savior he is I don't know where your feet have carried you but his climb Calvary's hill I don't know what kind of words you've spoken but his words were Father forgive I don't know What a sinner you are, but I know what a savior he is. Sometimes does it seem you've wandered so far, you'll never get back to your place in his heart. Don't you know he waits for the sound of your prayer? Just whisper his name and you'll find that he's there. I don't know what a sinner you are, but I know what a savior he is. I don't know where your feet have carried you, but his climb Calvary's hill. I don't know what kind of words you've spoken, but his words were, Father, forgive. I don't know what a sinner you are, but I know what a Savior he is. What we are is not what matters. It's what he is to us. Who we are is not important, but it's who we choose to trust. I don't know what a sinner you are, but I know what a Savior He is. I don't know where your feet have carried you, but His climb Calvary's Hill. I don't know what kind of words you've spoken, but his words were, Father, forgive. I don't know what a sinner you are. Oh, but I know what a Savior he is. I don't know what a sinner you are, but I know what a savior he is. What a savior he is. I wrote that many years ago. I believe with Lynn Kiesecker. I think he wrote the music. I really don't know. I forgot. But we can look it up. It can be Googled. Um, it's been so long. Hello from South Africa. Looky there. Who said that? <clears throat> comments go by so fast sometimes. All, all of you watching on YouTube, Facebook, and X, I was corrected today. It's no longer Twitter. You'd think I'd know that by now, but it's X. I still call it Twitter. Um, all the comments come into one place where I can see them all at once. Katrina Herons watching on Facebook. Patricia Crippens watching on YouTube. Now, the the uh, comments for X or Twitter don't come through, but I can see all of your comments on Facebook and YouTube. Now listen, this coming Tuesday, which is tomorrow at 
around 5 to 5.30 p.m. I'm going live on a just whenever, so I'm giving you an approximate time. Lanny Wolf Trio will be here, plus a whole bunch of other people. Now, here's the deal. It can only be viewed on Facebook, unfortunately. So make sure if you're watching on Facebook, you've subscribed to my page and that you know that tomorrow between 5 and 5.30, I'll be going live. And share, 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 share. That's so important. Sharing is caring. And YouTube, you'll have to come over and watch on Facebook. Twitter, you'll have to come over and watch on Facebook because he, Lanny wants to play the grand piano in the living room. He doesn't want to play the red piano in the studio. So that's what we'll do. But the only problem is I can only broadcast directly to Facebook from my phone. That's the only way I know how to do it. I can't take all this equipment in there and set that up. It's just impossible because I did set it up the first time. I certainly can't take it down and set it up again. I'm going to have to hire somebody to tear it down when I move to Virginia and then put it back together for me. But that's no big deal. And let's see, what else? Oh, we got upcoming concerts. If you live in North Carolina or South Carolina, coming February 15th, I'll be in Lenore, the 16th, North Augusta, South Carolina, the 17th, Liberty, North Carolina. That's sold out. But the 18th, we're in Fayetteville, North Carolina. Then in March, Plant City, Florida. I'm coming to Florida again for the Strawberry Festival. Then March 8th, Oak Grove, Louisiana, Terrell, Texas, the 9th, the 22nd, Lake Charles. Lake Charles, come see me. That's close to home, Lake Charles. Brenham, Texas on the 23rd. Go to marklowry.com slash tour and come out and see Endless Highway, The Sound, and me. It's going to be fun. All right, November 8th and 9th, get your tickets for Mark Lowry's Hometown Weekend 2024, November 8th and 9th. It's November 8th and 9th. And the Isaacs, the Hoppers, Riley, Jeff and Sherry, the Sound, Jaron Davis and his group. It is going to be a blast. Go to marklowry.com for more information. Also, did you know Sit Up Straight and Sing Volume 3 is out. You can download it wherever you download your music, or you can go to marklowry.com and purchase the CD, which has a little hymnal in it, so you can read along. The words are in there. I mean, you ought to get the CD. Go to marklowry.com slash store and uh, get your Sit Up Straight and Sing Volume 3. You ought to get Volume 1 and 2 while you're there if you don't have them because these need to be in your CD player in the car. You can also get the USB. So if you don't have a CD player anymore, and a lot of people don't with all the new cards, well, there you go. Also, if you order $30 or more, you get a free gift this month only at marklowry.com. Oh, we are in... The W's. You know what we do here, in case this is your first time visiting with me. We go live whenever I'm home on this show, which is called Just Whenever. Please subscribe. Do whatever you can to make sure you're notificated when I go live. And if you don't get the notification, you can watch the replay. It's equally as good because it's identical. So you can just pretend it's live. And uh, so, y'all ready to sing? Let's see where we are. Where? What is our first song? What? Oh, I've already done that. Sometimes does it seem... I did it without the words because I wanted to open the show with it for some reason. When the trumpet of the Lord shall sound. When the roll... This one was actually requested by somebody. I do read the comments... So please leave a comment, and when you see that I've liked it, you'll know I've read it. Here we go. Sit up straight and sing. When the trumpet of the Lord shall sound, and time shall be no more, and the morning breaks eternal, bright and fair, when the saved of earth shall gather over on the other shore, and the roll is called up yonder, I'll be there. When the road is called up yonder, when the road is called up yonder, when the road is called
called up yonder When the roll is called up yonder I'll be there Now let us, oh, turn it around, Kevin I love it when he does that Kevin Williams on the guitar Now let us labor for the master From the dawn to setting sun let us talk of all his wondrous love and care And when all of life is over And our work on earth is done When the roll is called up yonder I'll be there Sing! When the roll is called up yonder When the roll is called up yonder When the roll is called up yonder when the roll is called up yonder, I'll be there. When the roll is called up yonder, I'll be there. Oh, yes, I will. And this is what we're going to do when we get there. We're going to sing the wondrous love of Jesus. Come on, sit up straight, let's sing. Sing the wondrous love of Jesus. Sing His mercy and His grace In the mansions bright and blessed He'll prepare for us a place Now when we all get to heaven What a day of rejoicing that'll be When we all see Jesus We'll sing and shout the victory See there, he's turning it around again. That's what that is. A little guitar interlude. Sing, y'all. While we walk this pilgrim pathway, clouds will overspread the sky. Oh, but when traveling, days are over, not a shadow, not a sign. Sing, well, when we all get to heaven, what a day of rejoicing that will be Yeah, when we all see Jesus We'll sing and shout the victory When we all get to heaven Lord, what a day of rejoicing that'll be Think about it When we all see Jesus We'll sing and shout the victory Lord we will sing and shout the victory oh yeah Kevin Williams we sure will hey Anthony DeFloria Brenda Rice and sing it brother Mark I want to read your comments hello from St. Louis Daniel Bachelor's watching uh, St. Louis, Missouri, question mark. I don't know what you're asking. Even though I'm listening on live, I still listen to replay as well, sometimes several times. Thank you, Pamela. I love that I can put it up here once and then never have to think about it again, and it stays forever. Pamela, 100 years after I'm gone, Lord willing, and YouTube, Facebook, and X are still online, I will still be singing. But I'll be in another place at that time. I'll be singing on Streets of Gold. But I'll still be ministering down here to people. People can sing along. I love that. It's such a great day to be alive. Carlene Garrett from Colleen, Ka Ka not Colleen, Colleen, Texas. It will be an awesome day, Michelle Carter says. See you Friday in North Augusta. It's your birthday. Hey, Chuck Knowles. Happy birthday, buddy. And I will be in North Augusta. Robert, uh, Robert Clellan's watching from Virginia. Rhonda Burton Freeman's watching from Indiana. Hey, Rhonda. Well, who else? All of you. Look at you on Facebook. Here's Elaine Morrow. We were blessed to have Adam Crabb at our church yesterday. He did an amazing job. Isn't Adam incredible? And what a nice fellow. One of the nicest humans. So he's up there with Wes Hampton. You know, 
There are certain people, if you were to come to me and say, Janet Paschal and you got in a fight, or Wes Hampton and you got in a fight, or Adam Crabb and you got in a fight, I would ask you, what did you do? Because they're perfect. Not literally, that's hyperbole. But they're about as close as you can get here on earth, in my opinion. I love those people, and they're just nice. They don't talk about people. They don't gossip. They're precious people. Uh, what else? What, oh, I was going to tell you a story. Years ago, when I traveled during college with Charles Hughes, David Musselman, and Dick Bernier, and a man, a, a Russ was his name, Russ. I think, he, I don't know Russ. And he gave us a van. You'd think I'd remember his name, but it's been 40 years. Anyway, Russ, Brother Russ, gave us a van to travel in. Anyway, we were in a wreck. And, uh, but one time, and that has nothing to do with the story. If you want to hear about the wreck, uh, Google Mark Lowry, pivot on your good foot, and you'll hear all about the wreck. That was, that's another story. What I want to tell you about is the time when we were just a young evangelist team with our college, a Liberty Baptist College, and Charles was a great preacher, and I sang, and David played the piano. Well... And Dick Bernier drove the van. Well, so we were sitting and we were kind of auditioning to get to go to Word of Life camp up in New York. And it's an independent fundamental Baptist camp. And uh, they're very, back then, I mean, it was very strict. We, we all were, you know. Anyway, so we were kind of sitting there trying to behave. And this man was preaching and the place was packed. And Charles Hughes and his wife, Kathy, were sit seated on the front row right in front of me. And I was on the second row right behind them. Excuse me. And this, and everybody's kind of watching us, you know. They're kind of keeping an eye out on us, make sure that we're going to act right, do right, and think right, and believe right. Anyway, so we were sitting there and trying to behave. And the preacher was preaching a great sermon. And his point was, man does such and such, but God did this. But man turned around and did this. But God did this. But man. And at one point, he said, God's butt is always bigger than man's butt. Of course, he meant B-U-T. Of course, we weren't thinking B-U-T. We were thinking another butt. And I was doing my best to keep composed. I planned on laughing about this later when we were all alone. But I wasn't going to laugh because everybody was watching us. Nobody laughed. The entire congregation, I just nobody moved. And all of a sudden, from where I was seated, I saw Charles Hughes's fat cheeks rise up because he was a little heavy back then. And they rose up. And I knew he was laughing, and I started laughing, and then Kathy started laughing. And then he, when I would get composed, they, through the rest, isn't it great? Isn't it fun to laugh when you're not supposed to? That's my favorite time to laugh. You know, funerals, things like that. Uh, it's always fun to laugh. So anyway, we obviously were never invited to preach or sing there, but we got a fun story out of it. Okay, let's get back to singing. What, what are we going to do now? Let me look. Okay, no, I don't want that. I want this. We're going to scoop down here to the W's. And where were we? What have we done so far? Let's look. See, it's all here. I get to be the producer, the director, the, the, the talent. I get to do it all. It's a perfect job for ADD. If you could find your mouse... Oh, Lee. oh, what a great one. Where could I go? Come on. Come on, Remarkable Choir. That's what you all are out there in the world watching online. We're one big choir. And on Facebook, there's 722 of you in the choir. Sit up straight. Let's sing. Here we go. Living below in this old sinful world. Hardly a comfort can afford Striving alone To face temptation so 
Where could I go but to the Lord? Everybody sing, where could I go? Oh, where could I go when I'm seeking a refuge for my soul? Needing a friend to help me in the end. Where could I go but to the Lord? Come on, sing with me, y'all. Neighbors are kind. Lord, I love them, everyone. We get along in sweet accord. But when my soul needs manna from above, where could I go? the Lord Everybody sing Where could I go Oh where could I go Seeking a refuge for my soul Needing a friend to help me in the end where could I go but to the Lord? Where could I go but to the Lord? And release. Where are you going to go? What's the next verse say? Life here is grand with friends I love so. So dear, comfort I get from God's own word. Yet when I face that chilling hand of death, where could I go but to the Lord? And that's the last verse. I think about that a lot, that chilling hand of death. I don't know why I do, but I love thinking about it. A lot of people don't. It doesn't bother me because he took the sting out. The grave has lost its victory. It is just a nice resting place to a resurrection morning, morning. But I believe to be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord because that's in the Bible somewhere. Google it. To be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord. The Apostle Paul said that, I believe. And I love thinking about my graduation day. I hope I'm asleep, you know. When I sing that song, uh, uh, <clears throat> Home Where I Belong, you know, it goes, uh, that last verse says, uh, uh, they say heaven's pretty. Uh, living here is easy. When I, oh, shoot, I'll just sing it. You want to hear it? Let me see if I have it. Let me see. Here it is. I'll just sing it. On that last verse, I say, I hope I'm sleeping. I always say that. Because I do. I hope I'm sleeping when death knocks at my door. Unless God's got a more fun way to do it. Then I'll take that. They say heaven's pretty. Living here is too. But if they said, Mark, you'll have to choose between the two, I'd go home. Going home where I belong. Sometimes when I'm dreaming, it comes as no surprise That if you look You'll see that homesick feeling in my eyes I'm going home I'm going home Where I belong
But while I'm here, I'll serve him gladly, sing him all these songs. I'm here, that's too high for in the morning, but not for long. When I'm feeling lonely, when I'm feeling blue, it's such a joy to know that I'm only passing through, I'm going home, I'm going home, where I belong, yes I belong. Sing with me, come on, help me. But while I'm here, I'll serve him gladly and sing him all these songs. I'm here, but it won't be long. Now listen, one day I hope I'm sleeping when death knocks on my door. And I'll wake to find I'm not homesick anymore, Lord. I'll be home. Think about it. We'll be home where we belong. one we're back in the hymn no well what i've decided if it's not this one probably isn't in the hymn no but i have decided it should be and since this is my program and i'm in charge i get to decide what's what and if y'all disagree you can look it up and tell me i'm wrong but i'll probably still call it a hymn because who am i rusty goodman wrote a hymn whether he knew it or not because you know usually they're real old but Mary, did you know it's in a, in a hymnal somewhere? I saw it. And now I'm still living. But he, Brother Rusty has gone to see Jesus. But boy, he left us some good songs. All right, y'all, sing harmony with me on this one. And on all of them, if you can. When I think of how he came So far from glory Came and dwelt among the lowly, such as I, to suffer shame and such disgrace on Mount Calvary. Take my place, then I ask myself. A question Who am I? Sing with me, y'all. Who am I that a king would bleed and die for? Who am I that he would pray not my will, thine Answer I may never know Why he ever loved me so But to an old rugged cross he'd go For who am I? Then I'm reminded of those precious words I'll leave you never Just be true Cause I've given you Life forever And forever I wonder what I could have done To deserve God's only Son 
to fight my battles until they're won. For who am I? Oh, sing with me. Lord, who am I that a king would bleed and die for? Who am I that he would pray, not my will, thine Lord? The answer I may never know why he ever loved me so that to an old rugged cross he'd go for who am I that a king would bleed and die for. Oh, and he's not just a king. He's my friend. He's my savior. He's my father. He's my brother. He's my Lord. Oh, my goodness, he's so many things. And without him, uh -uh, I don't even want to think about it. Sing with me. Without him, I could do nothing. Without him, I'd surely fail. Without him, I would be drifting like a ship. Without a sail, sing, Jesus, oh Jesus, do you know him today? Please don't turn him away, oh. My Jesus, without him, how lost I would be. Without him, I would. Without him, I'd be enslaved. Say, without him, life would be worthless. Oh, but with Jesus, thank God I'm saved. Sing now, Jesus, oh Jesus, do you know him today? Please don't turn him away, oh Jesus, my Jesus. Without him, how lost I would be. Without him, how lost I would be. But I don't ever have to be lost. And you don't either. You can say, Lord, come into my heart. I believe what Mark's telling me about this man that rose from the dead, the Lord Jesus, and took my whipping on the cross and invite him in. He's only a prayer away. 
I'm not kidding. And then you can join us up there in heaven one day. Oh, won't it be wonderful there? Sing. When with the Savior we enter the glory land, won't it be wonderful there? Ended the troubles and cares of the story land, won't it be wonderful there? Sing, won't it be wonderful? You know that part. Having no burdens to bear. Joyously singing with heart bells all ringing. Oh, won't it be wonderful then? Walking and talking with Christ the supernal one. Won't it be wonderful then? Praising, adoring the matchless eternal one. Won't it be wonderful there? Sing, won't it be wonderful there? Having no burdens to bear. Joyously singing with heart bells all ringing. And won't it be wonderful there? Won't it be wonderful there? Having no burdens to bear. Joyously singing with heart bells all ringing. Won't it be wonderful day? Oh, y'all, I enjoy singing with y'all so much. Well, you're right, uh, Rebecca Wheeler. She said, hmm, makes me wonder if Mark is saving war out last. Well, it is last. So I'm going to sing it. Written by the uncle of Jeff Easter. Wrote a cute little song for all you moms out there that still have babies, like Courtney. This song is for those who get wore out. <laughs> Come home at night, sit down for a bite, but you're wore out. You're hardly able to get up from the table cause you're wore out. You crawl into bed, sleep like you're dead cause you're wore out. In the morning you wake up, can't seem to get up cause you're wore out. When we get to heaven with Jesus our King, we won't have to worry about anything. We'll be happy and free and our bodies won't be wore out. You get up on Sunday, dread to see Monday, cause you're wore out. You go sit in church, your back starts to hurt, cause you're wore out. The choir starts to sing, but you can't feel a thing, cause you're wore out. Pray the sermon and song won't last too long Cause you're wore out When we get to heaven with Jesus our King We won't have to worry about anything We'll be happy and free And our bodies won't be wore out You go for a drive in the car with your wife and it's wore out. The car, that is. She starts to worry, tells you not to hurry cause it's wore out. You don't know where you're at. One of the tires has gone flat cause it's wore out. 
From the sound of the motor We'll soon have to tow her Cause she's wore out When we get to heaven With Jesus our King We won't have to worry About anything We'll be happy and free Nothing there will ever be Wore out We'll be happy and free. Nothing there will ever be wore out. Yes, that was a song Jake Hess did, but they pushed it to Bill for me, but I was too young at the time to sing it, they said, and so they gave it to Jake. And uh, I love it. I'm wore out. Uh, have you ever been wore out? You know what that is. If you're up north, you'd say I'm worn out. Worn. And that's correct, and that's good. But if you're from the south, sometimes you just get wore out. Hello, Lucia. Ann Overcash said she loved it. Sadie Wilson uh, is watching. Regine Huddleston. All of you. I love this song. Anybody got a song? Because I'm out. I think I'm out. Let me look. Let's see what's behind me. Yep, I'm out. Anybody got one you want to end with today? I'm looking at the comments. I'm waiting for the next song to come up that someone is going to request. The last comment I see is from Abby Martin on YouTube. She says, yep, here in Michigan, we say worn out. Come and dine, Abby Martin said. She got it in just in time. Oh, what a fun song. Let me go get the words so if I can sing along. In fact, that's what I'm fixing to go do is eat. I don't know where yet. Have y'all got any suggestions? in Houston for me to run out and grab something to eat, something that's good and spicy. I love spicy. I love uh, Thai food, Vietnamese food, of course, Mexican food. Um, and I love, well, anything spicy, I love it. I even love fried chicken that's spicy. Come and dine, where are you? There you are. All right, sit up straight and sing. Abby, you requested it. You better be singing the loudest. Here we go. Jesus has a table spread where the saints of God are fed. He invites his chosen people come and dine. With his manna he doth feed and supplies our every need. Oh, tis sweet to sup with Jesus all the time. Yeah, come and die, and the master calleth, come and die. You may feast at Jesus' table all the time. He who fed the multitude turned the water into wine. To the hungry calleth now, come and die. Oh, Kevin Williams on the guitar. Carol Brown, I love Papa Cedars. That's a good suggestion. Soon the Lamb will take his bride To be ever at his side All the hosts of heaven will assemble be Oh, twill be a glorious sight All those saints in spotless white And with Jesus they will feast eternally What a buffet! Come and dine, the Master calleth, come and dine You may feast at Jesus' table all the time Oh yes, he spread the multitude, turned the, he fed them, not spread them. And to the hungry calleth now, come and dine. Oh, he who fed the multitude, turned the water into wine. To the hungry calleth now, come and dine. Boop -a -doop -boop 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 -boop. Eat fish like Jesus. I love fish. I love fried fish, though. It's my favorite, like they have in England. When I went to England the first time was back in 1980, and I went with the school group. Uh, the soccer team played soccer with the football, they call it over there, players, and they cleaned our clock every game. We did not know what we were doing. But then we would hold services and invite them out. We'd sing and preach to them and had a great time. Well, I discovered fish and chips, on the beach from a, I picture it as like a, a, a dugout kind of a place on the beach where you'd walk up there, you'd order your fish and chips, 
They fried them right there, and they wrapped it in newspaper. Yes, they did. It was very interesting. And not too long later, they were just using brown paper, but I, I had it when they were still using newspaper, and it was delicious. So that's a good suggestion. What else? Oh, Kathy Hollister loves fish and chips. Watching from Owensville, Kentucky, Mark Harmon says, I was feeling wore out, but singing about Jesus on Just Whenever revived me. Oh, good, Paula Walden. That's a good comment. I love reading those kind of comments. Hello, Brenda Justice. That's a friend of Brenda Gant right there. Rainy day in Tuscaloosa. Thanks for brightening my day. You are the Oh, thank you, Brenda. Good to hear from you. When, when Someone, in fact, even mentioned Brenda Gant here. What are they saying? When is Brenda Gant coming to your show again? She is a good cook. You're right about that. Jesus fan, 83. She is a great cook. And I don't know. I Her granddaughter wanted to come visit, and they said they might. But she is so busy. <laughs> Excuse me. I got the hiccups. She is so busy. You have, if you follow her, you know, she ain't got time to go visit anybody. She's booked. She's got to cook breakfast for the Coddle House every time, every day. England is a great place for fish and chips. You're right, Yvonne. Thank you, Carol Durkin. She says, I'm looking good. Dane Clement keeps asking for In the Garden, which I would be happy to do for you, Dane. In the Garden, but you got to sing along. Don't make me sing this by myself. This is my daddy's, or was. I'm sure it still is. My daddy's favorite song, if I can find it, here it is, In the Garden. We need some new songs, don't we? I need to get on Kevin. I come to the garden alone While the dew is still on And the voice I hear Falling on my ear The Son of God Discloses And He walks with me And He talks with me and he tells me I am his own And the joy we share As we tarry there None other has ever known I'll sing, y'all. He speaks and the sound of his voice is so sweet The birds hush their singing And the melody that he gave to me within my heart is ringing, sing, and he walks with me, and he talks with me, he tells me I am his own, can you believe it, and the joy we share we tarry there none other has ever known and the joy we share as we tarry there none other has ever known
Shirley says that was played when my mother passed at her funeral. I bet you that song, Shirley, has been played at a lot of funerals. We sang it at my daddy's funeral. I led everybody in singing it because it was his favorite hymn. Well, I've enjoyed our time together today. I hope you have. I hope you'll tune in again. What's tomorrow, Tuesday? Oh, tomorrow, Tuesday, between 5 and 5.30, I'm going live with the Lanny Wolf Trio. Google them if you don't remember them. My childhood was filled with Lanny Wolf Trio albums. My, my teen years. He's only about 10 years older. Well, he, he's 80, isn't he? Google that too. How old is Lanny Wolf? Probably doesn't want you to know. But you know, you can't hide nothing. You can Google everything. I'm 65. Why would anybody try to hide it anyway? It's eventually going to tell on you. <clears throat> That's what Eva May LeFevre said when when uh, Bill Gaither asked her, you sure don't mind telling your age? She said, well, why would it? It's like being pregnant. Eventually, it's going to tell on you. <laughs> Good. Hey, y'all, I hope you've joined me in supporting Unfolding Word. We are going to get the Word of God into every tongue in every tribe on earth within the next nine years. And for only $35 a month, you can help us reach that goal. Watch this. Oh, that's not where I want to be. Let's just move right on through that. The year is 2013. At the time, there are more than 7,000 languages on Earth, and nearly 65% of them have little or no access to Scripture. That's 4,500 languages spoken or signed that represent people groups across the planet with no way to engage with the Word of God in their heart language. And though there are multiple scripture translation groups working to reduce this deficit, in the year 2013, it was estimated that translating the scripture into every surviving language will take 125 more years. But then, in the last 10 years, everything changed. Around 2015, a collective known as Illuminations brought together the leading scripture translation agencies from around the world. Now, at the dawn of 2024, of all the lasting languages on earth, 73% of them have either received the scriptures or they are currently in progress. And for the 27% with little or no scripture at all, the timeline to address them has been vastly accelerated. No longer will it take 125 years. Instead, we have stepped into the last 10 years before every language on earth has access to scripture. By the year 2033, 100% of languages will have a significant portion of God's Word, and over 99% of them will have the full New Testament. This is the beginning of a decade that changes history. This is our time to rally the church, to complete the mission, and bring the hope of Jesus to every tribe and tongue. Here you can step into the story. You can be a part of the last 10 years of translating scripture to the ends of the earth. 